Hi, I'm Jonathan and welcome to our fifth video in the DIY lead magnet series. Today we're going to talk about email collection. As I mentioned, the goal of a lead magnet is to have your prospect provide their email address in order to get your lead magnet. So today we're going to talk about what do you use to collect that and what do you do with email addresses once you have them. So one of the wonderful things about a lead magnet is that it can be a fairly automated form of marketing. In other words, when someone goes to your website and they request your lead magnet and provide your email address or their email address, you can automatically have your lead magnet, your ebook, your infographic, your video sent to them to that email address. And the beauty is that can all be automated, meaning you don't have to monitor that and spend all day responding to inquiries. You can simply have that lead magnet automatically sent to them. The question is, how do I do that? Well, there's a couple different ways you can do that. And today I want to talk about those options. Option one is to do it directly through your website. If you have the ability to edit your website, you probably have a forms component or a form tool that allows you to create a form that a user can fill out. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a form with one field only, and that's an email address. Why? Because the more information we ask for pertaining to that lead magnet, the less people that are going to fill that out. We can talk later in another series about why and when you may want to have more than that one field, but for the purposes of this training, we're going to focus on one field, what's the email address. When you create that form, you can typically decide a couple of functions. One, you get to determine what happens after the user provides their email and presses submit. And that's typically called a confirmation. In this case, you're gonna to wanna to bring that user to a secondary sales page where now you're gonna have an opportunity to give them your sales message. But in the interim, while that happens, we also need to create what's called a notification. And that notification is what's going to take the email address that the user entered in the form, and it's gonna send them a link to your lead magnet whether that be a video that you've posted on YouTube or Vimeo, whether that be a PDF or an ebook that you've posted in Google or Dropbox or somewhere else, we're gonna provide them that link. Now, some of you I know are gonna ask Jonathan, why do I wanna email it to him? Can't I just on the confirmation page provide that? Sure you can, but I don't recommend it. And the reason is we wanna use that confirmation page to give you a chance to do your sales pitch. If we deliver the document, the lead magnet on the confirmation page, all that's gonna happen is they're gonna get it, they're gonna download it, they're gonna view it, whatever that is, and they're probably gonna leave. We wanna send that to their email address. The other reason we wanna send it to their email address is we wanna make sure that we don't get a bunch of people entering email addresses like bob at bob.com that are fictitious emails that don't allow us to follow up. Remember, the purpose of a lead magnet is to create a possible lead that you can follow up with and turn into an opportunity. If we get bad email addresses, we can't do that. So we wanna email them that confirmation that gives them our lead magnet. So if you, again, if you have the ability on your website to create forms, that's probably the simplest and easiest way to do it. When you do that, you'll also have a notification that goes to you or your team notifying you that somebody has downloaded that ebook or that lead magnet and will provide you with their email address. Another option is if you're a subscriber to an email service like MailChimp or Constant Contact or many others, you can utilize their systems to automatically embed a form requesting for that email address, have MailChimp automatically add that email address to a list and send them the email. In other words, instead of that going through your website and keeping your name in front of them, which you would still do, you'll have MailChimp handle all that in the background. Another option, and again, there's many, many tools to do that. So your assignment for today is to determine, do you have the ability to create that form on your website and do that automatically? Or would you rather use a mail service to do it? And as a third option that you may want to consider, there are online form tools like Google Forms that you could use to do that as well. I do not recommend that. It's the least productive in my mind and provides you with the least amount of control, but it is an option if for some reason the other two are not. 
But I'd like you to ask for today, for your assignment, what would you like to do to create your form? Do you want to do that on your website? That's my recommended methodology if you can. Or do you want to use a service like MailChimp or Constant Contact or GetResponse or any of the many others that are out there to do that for you? Make that decision. And in the next video, we're going to talk about a shortcut that may be available to help you create that lead magnet if you're worried about, how am I going to write all this content? See you in the next video. Make it a great day.